This one begins with a classic dangling modifier. In the prompt, despite its covering the entire planet, Earth has blah, blah, blah. Well, the it definitely does not refer to Earth. Earth does not cover an entire planet. Earth is an entire planet. In fact, it's my favorite planet. So this dangling modifier is incorrect. It appears in A, and it also appears in E. What it should be modifying is Earth's crust. That's exactly what should be following the modifying phrase. So A and E are out right away, and we're left with B, C, and D. So notice we also have this alternation in the at the beginning between despite and although. Both of these are correct, and I'll talk a little about the difference. Despite is a preposition. Preposition needs to be followed by a noun. So despite covering, covering is a gerund, that is a verb, a noun form of a verb, so that's perfectly correct. Although is a subordinate conjunction, needs to be followed by an entire clause, that is to say, it needs to be followed by a noun and a verb. So although it covers, perfectly correct. Although covering, which is what we have in E, that would be incorrect. We can't follow a subordinate clause, a subordinate conjunction with simply a noun or a gerund, something like that. We need a full subject verb construction. If all this talk about grammar is just having your head spin, I'd highly recommend check out magoosh.com. Magoosh has over 200 videos teaching you all the grammar and in fact, all the content you need for all GMAT questions, as well as the strategy, we have a long section on GMAT grammar that will teach you everything you need to know about sentence correction. So check that out. So here, despite the fact that, well, that's a little wordy, but, but technically that's a correct use of despite. Despite covering, that's correct, although it covers, that's correct. So B, C, and D all check out on the basic use of despite versus although. Next, we'll look at the contrast. So, is neither X nor Y, but rather Z? That is correct. And in fact, all three of these are in parallel. Something is neither X nor Y, but rather Z. They're in parallel. This construction, is not X or Y, that's actually incorrect because we have the negative and then or does not connote a further negative. So that's problematic. That appears there. And then we have this very strange construction, is neither x nor is it y. That breaks up the parallelism. In other words, what we want for the parallel structure is just to have one verb at the beginning that applies to everything. And by sticking an other verb in, that breaks up the parallel structure. So that's what we have going on here. That's what we have going on here. We also have it here at the end. So right away, that nukes every answer except D. And notice that D has the correct parallel structure, neither, nor, but rather, perfectly fine. It uses the although clause correctly. It has Earth's crust following the modifying phrase. It has no grammatical mistakes whatsoever. It is direct, clear, sleek. It is by far the best answer choice.